some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in California with a soft heart who, uh, well, gets a little bit upset that he gets a traffic ticket and decides that he's going to go report it to uh, the President of the United States himself. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm sure the President would just love to listen to you. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Yeah, this guy is uh, intentionally, intentionally shining the light into the camera so I cannot record him. Alright. Hey, can you listen to me for a second? Can I, can I talk now? I don't talk to cops. Okay. You well, can, you I'm can a talk. police officer in the city of Katadi, okay? Your registration is expired. What is your, your badge? What is your badge number? It's three four five. Three four five. Your registration is expired. And you've been stopped legally, what, what right? What is, what is your badge number? It's three four five. I just said it. Where is it? Can What's I? That? I need to see it. It's three four five. No, I need to see your nameplate and your number. There you go. Where is it? Where is the number? B Mitchell. Can, can you turn this way? I'm gonna yeah, I can do that when you give me your driver's license. No, you have to identify yourself first. You know, you also have to identify yourself. After. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Pretty good. You? Stop the huh? What oh, is sir. What is your badge number? Three three eight. Where it's is not, it? It's not the same badge number. B Gallo. Yep. Officer. Gallo. Yep. So, sir, yeah, you know who we are. So can you show us your identification? What I know is that you are interfering with my constitutional rights. Right to travel on the public roads is a, lot, is a right, unalienable right by constitution. Okay, dude, let me get you a box of crayons and I'll set you down at the kitty table while I explain this to you. You see, you crown muncher, uh, it goes like this. Nobody is denying you the right to travel across the United States. It is the means of conveyance that is subject to the uh, laws. Motorized vehicles are subject to the Tenth Amendment, which gives the states the right to create laws to govern the licenses and the registrations necessary for uh, operating those motor vehicles to determine whether or not somebody is capable of having that kind of responsibility because not everybody has the mental capability to understand the dangers of operating such a machine. And even in California, you are required to have a driver's license, registration, and insurance to operate a motor vehicle. You soft hard are not exempt, nor are you special. Well, maybe you're a special snowflake, but that's all you are. And you are interfering with my constitutional right, and I am going to report you to Trump itself. Okay. Trump that's himself. Are... Dude, you placed yourself on a pedestal that is way too high for who you really are. I doubt that President Trump would have listened to you when he was in office. He had much better things to do with his time than listen to a sovereign citizen cry about a traffic ticket. That's what the courts are for. You're very welcome to report us to Trump himself after we're done here. Mm -hmm. In the state of California, if you are driving and an officer observes a violation, stops you for said violation, you're required to identify you, provide registration and insurance. I am not required to do anything. You are, look, look it up. I am not required. Am I free to go? Okay, if you won't look it up, I sure as hell will. So, uh, Oh, looky what we've got here. Here's the statute that says that you have to present your driver's license at a traffic stop. In fact, it is a misdemeanor to not present your driver's license at a traffic stop and a fine of $1,000 and up to six months in jail. Oh, gee, I'm sure you're going to say that can't be right because it's against the Constitution, well, I would suggest you go read the Constitution then. 
That is, if you had the capability of reading anything other than a soft tarred coloring book. You are not free to go. Okay, then you're keeping me here under duress against my constitutional rights. So, sir, the sooner you provide us with your information, the sooner you are free to leave. Currently, you are being detained until you provide that information. I would like for this to go very smoothly and for you to provide that information without us having... You are interfering with my constitutional rights and that's, a, that's a, a betraying, you're betraying your oath to the Constitution. Have you had an oath to the Constitution? Yes, sir. Have you taken an oath to the Constitution? I have taken an oath, sir. So why are you interfering with my constitutional rights? This I is not be, a commercial vehicle. Oh, gee, here's another California statute to bite you in the ass. Uh, yeah, uh, you have to register your vehicle, even if it's a non-commercial vehicle. So, come on now, Chowderhead. What other excuses do you have for not uh, registering your vehicle or getting a license or anything like that, considering that the California laws clearly state that no one is exempt, you moron? This is not a commercial vehicle. That's fine. It doesn't have to be a commercial okay, vehicle. Okay, so... Then. You're responsible for... Uh, your infringement of your own constitutional oath. That is treason. Oh, dumbass, you don't know the Constitution, do ya? Well, the Constitution defines treason as, well, in Article 3, Section 3, Clause 1, treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless the testimony of two witnesses to the same overt act or on confession in open court. So come on, dude, at least take the time to read the Constitution so you can know what the hell you're talking about. I mean, it's not that difficult. Well, maybe for you it is, considering that you might not have anything above a uh, second grade reading level. But that's all right. I mean, we might be able to work around that. Uh, let's see if we can find some uh, coloring books to illustrate it for you. You're supposed to be enforcing the Constitution, not going against it and enforcing statutory regulations, which is the just corporate bullshit law. Okay. So do you have a driver's license? I do. Okay. Have you ever been issued one in California? I don't uh, answer questions. Well, you just said you do have a driver's license. I'm just asking if it's California or not. I don't answer questions. Okay. Am I free to go? You are not free to go. I am not required to give you anything. Look it up on, in the law. Even in your own laws, I am not required to give you anything. I am not a commercial operator. You, and, and you have no right to even stop me. If they have probable cause to stop you, such as no tag speeding or anything like that, yes, they do have the right to stop you, you bloody moron. So, get some new material. Okay. This car is not for hire. Okay. It's not. Fine. It's out of your jurisdiction. Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go, sir. Okay, then you're arresting. You're detaining me for no reason. Okay. And interfering with my constitutional rights. Okay. It's not true. Not true. I mean, we can go that route, but... Right. I'm gonna report you guys, all of you, man. This, this shit has gone too far. 
You are harassing people and, and uh, stealing our money. I know all, all, your, all your tricks and, and gigs. Tricks? Uh, yeah, there's some tricks I want to see. Uh, I want to see you have a reasonable uh, understanding of the Constitution, but I'm a well aware now that is well beyond the uh, mental capabilities of a lead paint drinking paint chip eating soft tarred moron such as yourself so do us all a favor and go back to the uh kitty table and partake in the box of crayons that i lent you before because you don't have the ability to reason with us at an adult level at the adult table mr horvath so however you say your last name we would like for you to give us the registration for the vehicle and any insurance for the vehicle I, as well. I don't answer any questions. I don't talk That's to cops. I, I, is that how you say your last name, Horvath? I have the right to remain silent. Okay. Uh, that only counts if you're uh, being questioned for a, crim a crime. You're not being questioned. I have the crime. right to remain silent anytime. Okay. That works for me. Are you guys proud of yourself stealing people's money like this? Are you proud of yourselves? You are stealing people's money through the court system and these uh, bullshit stat statutory regulations. Common law is the only law. No crime, no, no, no crime, no punishment. Yeah, common law, English common law, and the U.S. Constitution. And your jurisdiction is not there. You're a corporate entity. You're, you're a fake. You're faking your presence on the road even. And you're, you're betraying your constitutional oath. God will deal with you. God will deal with you. Be sure about that. Well, dude, uh, you know what I think at this point? I think you are just completely butthurt that uh, your soft tart script has been failing on you throughout this entire traffic stop, as it should be. So let's carry on, shall we? Okay, you believe in the, in the Trump and the law and all that, right? Yes. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write you a ticket, and I'm going to... I'm going to write you three tickets, okay. all three of you. <laughs> you can and then what we'll do is um, we're gonna have you sign the ticket it's not an admission of guilt I'm not signing anything okay then we're gonna have to take you to jail no you can't yeah we can no, you have no right you're, well, you're, you're already overstepping you, your you, jurisdiction well, I am I'll not you, in a commercial uh, mm -hmm. capacity here and I'll give you a souvenir for us overstepping our bounds and we can talk about it in court okay what souvenir I'll give you a ticket and it'll you can give me a there. ticket, but I'm not signing anything. Okay, well, if you don't sign it, then I don't have a choice but to take you to jail. That's up to you. You think about no, that for a moment. No, 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 no. It's going to be worse for you if you do that. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! I demand to be let free right now. That's not happening. Well, I demand it. I demand to be let free right now. You can be let free after you sign the promise to appear in court for the citation. How does that sound? Okay, fine. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, I will sign it. Okay. Almost done. Do you believe in the court system or no? The court system is a fraud. Look into it. You, 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 you know that uh, your, your courts are a corporation? It has nothing to do with the city. They are collecting money for a for-profit corporation that is uh, traded on the stock market. You guys are stealing money from the public. Uh, no, none of that is true, dude. The uh, court system is not a corporation, and the funds that are 
gotten from uh, fines and penalties and everything like that generally gets circulated back into the system to help infrastructure and other projects. I don't know what idiots you've been listening to, but you need to lay off the Kool-Aid, dude. You never heard about this? No, I have not. Yeah, the, the, look it up. The courts are for, uh, corporations and they are not uh, state uh, authorized uh, courts. You're working for a private company. Who do you work for? For me. Self-employed? Yes. Look it up on YouTube. All the court systems are, are corporate. Seriously, dude? You really think that everything on YouTube is true? I am aghast as to how stupid you have just proven yourself to be because people can post anything on here. They can put up any BS claim they want and not have any evidence to back it up, much like frauditors do. With that being said, as far as uh, what people claim on YouTube goes, there's an old saying... Claims require evidence, and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So if you're going to BS me with some claim, you better damn well have the proof to back it up. And I'm talking about actual tangible proof, not what came out of your ass. You guys are committing a fraud. I will report all, all three of you. I'm not joking, guys. You will be reported to the White House. Okay, well, you're, you're on camera too, so... Yeah, fine, fine. I'm not, doing, I'm not doing anything wrong. You, you guys can, are... You can record all you want. I, I know. I know. That's my right too. Right. I know my rights. And I know how to go about it. All three of you will be reported. And you guys should hurry up because I need to go to the bathroom. Well, it would have been a lot quicker if you just provided us your license instead we had to go to the... Well, what is, what's taking so long? Writing a couple of tickets? What's what's taking so long? What's taking long is because you didn't give us your identification or driver's license. We no, I've been waiting since we have we we're talking. I've been waiting for 15 minutes. Okay. So, so you said right. you want to leave, right? So this is how you leave. You got to sign this first. Fine. So I'm citing you for several violations. I'll hold on to this. You're gonna get a copy of this. Yeah, fine. I, I just want to record it. Yeah, you're going to get a copy of can, it. Can so you, you get that light it. out of my face? Hey, okay. so, let go, the, let go the side door. Okay. All you need to do is sign it. You're going to get a copy of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sign it. It's not an admission of guilt, just saying you're going to take care of it. Yeah, without prejudice. Right. I'll hold it. So there are several violations you are being cited for. One, I am citing you for the lieutenant. It's for having your light, not having your lights on during darkness, sir. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, sir. I'm not finished. I'm still signing okay, it. Okay, can I have my pen back? Yes, you can. After I finish signing it, sir, give me my pen back. With the, without prejudice, I'm signing it. It's being recorded, so it's yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. So okay, thank you. Okay, fine. Okay. Whatever. So you're being cited for driving without, uh, without your headlights during darkness, failing to yield to pedestrians. It was not dark failing, at that time. Listen, failing to stop at the stop sign and refusing to ID your uh, to an officer, which is a misdemeanor. So you're technically being placed under arrest. We're not going to go the whole nine yards, get you out of the car, throw you in handcuffs, all that stuff. We're not going to do that tonight but you do have to appear to court on January 7th at 0800 in the morning. Understood? If you do not go to court, you will have an, a warrant issued for your arrest. All right, have a good day, sir. Well, he has not posted anything about uh, going to court, so either he did go to court and it didn't work out, very well for him or he decided not to go to court and probably ended up getting arrested. So we'll never know on that one. But if he did go to jail, he probably ended up saying that he would report them all to the White House anyway. So, uh, but I really doubt that, uh, the White House would do anything about one little old sovereign citizen sitting in jail. And in fact, they'll probably be just laughing about it. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.